Hi, I'm Joe Walensky, and I'm the program manager for Convey UX. That's our annual Seattle UX conference, which is coming up February 27, 28, and March 1. And I get a chance in these videos to talk to some of the interesting personalities who will be giving talks. Uh, today, I am speaking to Natalie Moser. How are you doing, Natalie? No, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, everything's going well. It's a uh, nice sunny but a bit chilly day uh, in Seattle in the Blink offices. Uh, where are you speaking to us from today? I'm calling in from London in England. Yeah, a little bit snowier, I think, than maybe in Seattle at the moment. Well, we're glad to be having you join us as one of our international participants. And I thought a good place to start would be for you to talk a little bit about your background and the type of work that you do for your organization. Okay, so I'm Natalie and I've been leading visual and UX teams over the last 15 years. I joined Eurostar last year where I built up a UX team um, from zero to six. We now in the team have designers and researchers and we're all working across all the different digital touch points in Eurostar. So we're looking at the booking path, people choosing to choosing their journeys and buying them. We have another area that's completely dedicated to manage booking. So that's things like choosing, choosing your seats, upgrading, buying hotels. We also have another area that's dedicated to the new reward scheme that we've just launched and the app. And also, not only do we look at the website, but we're also looking at other digital areas as well. So we design and we manage the UX for the ticket machines in the stations, the actual station screens on the platform, and the station screens in the trains, and also the onboard entertainment. So we have a massive variety of different areas that we hit in, in the UX team. Well, that's one of the things that strikes me from your description is that uh, there, there just must be a, a, a wide array of uh, physical and digital uh, types of media that you have to work with. Uh, what, what, what kind of challenge is that for you and your team? Yeah, I mean, it's very interesting. It's, um, the challenges are wide ranging. I think it's always really important to go speak directly to the users but equally important to talk to other areas of the business that also um, impact can also impact the digital experience so we talk to the station staff we talk to the train managers we also spend time with the live chat team on the site and the customer service team that are in the, in the contact centers. So we can get a full insight, a full spectrum to really help us do our job as best as we can and design the digital products as best as we can. And uh, in, in terms of uh, technologies and processes, are there uh, uh, any uh, new, new things you have to deal with? Any uh, upcoming challenges or, or new technologies that you're working with? Yeah, and, and so we're, we're embracing technology as it, as it evolves as well and also really using it to its full potential. So, for instance, one thing we're looking at the moment is using technology to manage the traffic flow at the station. And we're looking at putting beacon sensors into all our stations to really identify when the busiest times are and how we can then communicate to people to arrive at the station earlier or not as early as they need to in order to try and get the best flow experience possible. So that's an example of how we're using tech to improve, improve the experience. Well, uh, you are going to be uh, given a session at the conference and uh, mm -hmm. you have a title for that is When UX Takes a Day Trip to Paris, which yep. sounds, like, sounds like a fun thing to be doing. Uh, so uh, what uh, are you planning for the session? What types of things uh, can we expect to learn from that? What I wanted to do in the session was really give a behind the scenes tour of the UX at Eurostar, what we're doing in the team, how we're really going out and looking for problems before they even come our way and, and actually trying to get as much first hand insight as we can from passengers that are on the go to um, the station staff and people who work on the trains and so there's a whole array of different um, research activities that we undertake in order to really improve the digital experience but also the other thing is we try and break down that 
barrier between physical and digital so that we've got like one unified message that goes across because from the user's perspective they're looking at everything they're, they're looking on the phone and then they're going to find their seat and there is no real difference so we're in the UX team very conscious of that so we're trying to break down that barrier and trying to make one unified experience across the whole of the travel um, time between from beginning right to beginning to the end well, I, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to hear your session. Uh, when, you know, one of the things that are uh, things that's harder and harder to come by are the uh, behind the scenes sessions where we get to uh, learn about your uh, process in uh, getting your solutions. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun to see that. Uh, well, thanks a lot, uh, Natalie, for spending some time okay. here with me and uh, we'll see you in just a couple of months in Seattle. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming out and telling the story. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.